Hey, welcome back folks. April is now upon us. And with that, it's time for a look back at the very best tables of March 2024. Right here, right now, on Digital Victory. First up, Back to the Future by Tasty Wasps. Man, what a month this has been. A ton of great tables, as always, but especially cool to me because all these great old solid state tables. You know I dig my older tables. Uh, this isn't as old as some of these on the list, but it's a little older and it's awesome. This table has been in the works. Uh, by many folks, amazing, talented folks, starting with J.P. Salas himself. Uh, it's been worked on in different levels. It made a big leap last year with Versus 77, adding Enfozzi physics, Fleep sounds, other upgrades. Now, this latest version by Tasty Wasps just brings it all together, including VR. And finally, there is a great alt sound component from Apophis that I highly recommend as well. I didn't get it in time to put it on this video, but check it out, you'll love it. This is Back to the Future by Tasty Wasps. Let's check out another. Dungeons and Dragons, the Siggy mod. I'm sure most of you have seen it, but if you haven't, I did a tutorial for this table last week. And well, I guess you could call it a mini review as well. Here's the short version. This is a masterpiece. I love everything about it. I'll let you see for yourself. I won't dribble on, just enjoy. Tron Legacy. This is the first of three 4K table upgrades from our man Hannibal. When he's not crossing the Alps or eating our internal organs, he's hard at work on these awesome virtual pinball tables. This is a Stern 2011 table that has seen a couple of different versions. But this one is supreme. He's added an updated high res play field and some other improvements that offer, in his words, a better feeling for the player. Can confirm. This plays wonderfully and feels great. Drink. 
Courtesy of the end of line. Jackpot achieved. Time to finish. Jackpot. Look at that lighting. It's just absolutely crazy. This is a winner. On to the next one. JP Salas is back with yet another update to one of his old school solid state tables. This is fire action. Fire Action came out in 1980, produced by Taito de Brazil. If you're not familiar with Taito de Brazil, I recommend you check out my video that I have linked below. Uh, I did a top 10 Taito de Brazil tables video. They have a great story behind them, and the tables kick butt. JP Salas has given them a lot of TLC, and we're really lucky to be able to play these often little known gems. Granted, many are based on more popular uh, tables that we know of, but these are unique in their own regard and they're awesome. This one's no exception. Great art, perfect sounds and music from that era, and wonderful physics. It feels great. I really like this one. Fire Action by J.P. Salas. On to the next one. Four K, the Final Frontier. These are the upgrades by Hannibal. Oh, that was pretty corny, I know. <laughs> Here's an awesome pair of Star Trek tables, starting with Star Trek: The Twenty Fifth Anniversary. For those not familiar with this table, it's got a great mechanic that operates in real time, the transporter that you see on the back glass. Check it out. Oh man, I love that. I did a tutorial on this one, by the way. Make sure you check that out. The artwork has all been updated to 4K. Other little improvements have been done. And again, that lighting is nuts, isn't it? Just awesome. <laughs> My goodness. Lovely. Nice multi ball, Ed. Scotty, get us out of here. The second Star Trek table he did is Star Trek LE. The real table was by Stern and came out in 2013, and it was based on the first Christopher Pine movie. Cool movie and a cool table. This table is based on the nice Star Trek LE table that was originally started by Frenetic Amnesic. A very nice work. But he has taken it to the next level, upgraded the graphics to 4K. As you can see, it's just wild. Like the last table, the lighting on this is absolutely through the roof. Just nuts. This table's great.
Star Trek LE 4K Upgrade by Hannibal. On to the next yeah, one. They're right behind us. Alien Star by Uncle Polly. This 1984 Gottlieb table was originally brought to the virtual world by Borg Dog, and similar to some of the other tables on here, has been worked on by lots of folks. Uncle Polly has authored these latest changes and upgrades that you see here today, which includes upgrades to just about every single element that could be done. Art, physics, table, lighting, colors, flippers, shadows, backlash, mesh, saucers. You get the idea. show you this ridiculous options menu. Look at all these things you can adjust through this. Holy buckets, this is amazing. This is a dynamite table and one that will not be leaving my collection. Play on. Where did this come from? I haven't heard of this table before, but this is straight fire. Oh man, it snuck up on me big time. But I guess that's what bounty hunters do, isn't it? This originated in 1985 from Gottlieb. As the creator board states, it features fun gameplay and a killer art package that remains unique in all of pinball. Yeah, that pretty much nails it, as you can see. I love the vibe of this table, man. The color palette, the backdrop music, the unique play field. How have I not seen this before? He worked with Darth Vito, Tasty Wasps, and Haunt Freaks to present this incredible table that you see here. Rock on board. You see, stuff like this is why you see the criticism for the at games tables that you do. I'm sorry to jump off track here, but this is a Gottlieb table. Why wasn't this table included instead of some of the less than stellar tables that were included on the Legends Pinball and Legends Pinball 4K? I, I don't know. Finally, our man Balutito has graced us with this cool ass table based on the wacky movie Kung Fu Hustle. And it brings that wacky spirit and his art design is second to none. Look at this. As far as I'm concerned, he is about the best pinball artist there is, and he once again knocks it out of the park on this one. Now, one of my favorite things about this table is the music, the songs that play. Unfortunately, I had to take that part out of the video here because YouTube reared its ugly head and said, no, no, no. Just know that the music when you play it is going to be a lot better than what you see here. That's awesome. Fantastic job here by Bayou Tito, as always. What a month. 
Hey, thank you again to all the wonderful designers and artists, and thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.